Hey guys, so today I thought I'd talk about neck skincare favorites for it. Do you need a separate product for your neck or not? Or most people, a lot of people can just continue their skincare all the way down from their face, down to their neck, to the decollete, and it works just fine. Uh, neck, neck skin is uh, di a little different than most of the body. It doesn't have really a lot of oil glands. So uh, it's definitely thinner and more prone to wrinkling. I mean, it's just naturally kind of wrinkly, always there. Uh, it's not super thick. There isn't as much collagen in the skin. And when there's not enough collagen or as much collagen, it wrinkles easier. Um, and then uh, another person mentions, your neck skin has a different cell composition than the other parts of your body. Just think about how rare neck pimples are. Neck skin is different. Uh, your neck is naturally oil-free, uh, although it does... It's not as dry, but my skin, does, my neck does get drier than the rest. I don't use retinoids. I don't use exfoliants. I don't use actives on my neck. Occasionally, I use lactic acid, but generally, just a good moisturizer. And a lot of times, the one I use on my face is just great for my neck. Although, throughout my experience, I found ones that just work a little bit better just on my neck uh, than they do on my face. So, uh, the neck doesn't contain as many oil glands as the face, which means it cannot produce its own natural oils very well. Uh, this makes the neck less prone to breakouts. It also uh, means that we need to keep it hydrated, replenish the moisture with thicker creams, thicker humectants, and things like that. And neck is the neck area is crucial for lymphatic drainage. Uh, those are all right in our neck, which is why when you get sick, they swell up. So here we go for my neck favorites. And most of these aren't specific neck products. Uh, you certainly can go with specific ones. Uh, some of them are thicker, like this one I'm going to talk about from Dermatology. Their Age Reversal Advanced Neck Correct Cream. I, I can't remember what name they're on, but they changed the package and the names of some of the things, but the formula is the exact same. This one has some nice peptides. It's thicker, which is why I like using this one on my neck specifically. Oh, hang on. It's almost empty. Hang on. I hope I have enough left. It might be empty. Oh, there's like a little bit left. Dang it. Dang it. Ugh. Well, this might be an empties this month. I think it's empty. Anyway, what I liked about this was it was a little bit thicker. It has some good peptides in here. Uh, wheat germ, vitamin E, sweet almond oil, uh, lotus flower. And when I was using it, it was a little bit thicker than the other neck products I'd use. So uh, like a lot of thicker creams. So like for drunk elephant, the protein is great for the face. What I really liked was their Lala cream on my neck. I'm a little over drunk elephant. But anyway, this one's a really nice. If you're looking for a specific neck cream, this one's great. I'll link to it below. You don't necessarily need to buy a specific neck cream. Next up, we've got the Aveeno Calm and Restore Therapy Balm. Another thing I like about this is it's a little bit thicker. I so I will use this on certain areas of my face, but not necessarily all over because I don't feel like I'm as dry. But this one's great for dry areas or just on your neck when it gets really dry. So this one's really nice, pretty affordable as well. Minimal ingredient list. So if you're sensitive or have a sensitive neck, I know my, my niece is the same way, especially during the cold winter here. It'll get red and irritated and flaky, even where my face doesn't feel that way, but my neck does just because it can't produce as much oil as fast. This one has some oatmeal in there, which is great for soothing the neck area if it gets very dry. So I like that one. This is one I use year round, uh, the Isn't Tree Aloe Soothing Gel. So they've got two types, the moisture version and the fresh version. The moisture version I typically use in the fall and winter, and then the fresh version is a little bit less hydrating. I'll typically use that one spring and summer. So check those two out. Uh, they're both wonderful uh, gel texture. I haven't reviewed this. I need to review it, though. But anyway, the texture of this stuff is just, it's just wonderful. It's just gel, which is really nice. And a lot of the other pro neck products, I'll layer over this. I'll apply this first. Give it a second to soak in, and then I'll apply the other products uh, over it. So, there we go. Can never go wrong, and it just layers so nicely. Okay. Okay, next up. This one is more for anti-aging. It is a specific neck product. Uh, if you have very sensitive skin, um, I don't necessarily recommend it because it does contain a little bit of fragrance. That's the Necessaire uh, Neck Multipeptide Collagen Support uh, Neck Serum. Uh, so again, it has fragrance in it. It's not noticeable, and it does say it's fragrance-free, but it does have a little bit of fragrance in it. Uh, but for anti-aging, it is wonderful because the amount of peptides in here and antioxidants are great. It's expensive, but I do want to mention it just in case you're in the market for just a neck-specific 
product that has some good anti-aging functions to it and it's pretty creamy and there is scent in it it's not noticeable but it's there so if you're very very sensitive keep that in mind but for anti-aging this is a really great option it's loaded with good ingredients i did a review on it so you can check that out too if you're more curious or more interested in that one Okay, a couple more, and none of these are neck specific. The Purito Centella Unscented Recovery Cream. What I like about this one is it helps with redness. My neck, a lot of times when it's irritated or dry or in the winter, it'll get red and dry, and the Centella in here really helps prevent the dryness, and it's really soothing feeling. Centella is great for soothing. It's fragrance-free. It's really affordable. I think this whole tube is retails like around $12.00. So it does a great job. A little bit goes a long way. Centella, Asiotica side, Matacasic acid. Uh, and it's wonderfully creamy and hydrating. And it really does a nice job. So I just finished up one tube. And now I've got my other backup of it. Okay, one other thing from Dermatology. Their Soothing Recovery Cream. I I've been talking about this one a lot lately. I just love it. It's super affordable. It's really creamy. It's really hydrating. You can use it on irritated skin, uh, red skin, flaky skin, dryness. If you've overdone it with retinoids or exfoliants, this does a trick and it also does a great job with your neck. And you can use it pretty much anywhere in your body. If you get flakes, anything like that, patches of dry skin, it does such a wonderful job. And the new bottle, I believe, is twice the size of it now. So they've changed the packaging and I just... I just use little bits of it on little areas, like sometimes on my arm I'll get little dry patches, and I'll use that. Uh, one other thing I want to mention, petroleum jelly sometimes before bed. You can apply just a little bit, or you can apply a little bit of petroleum jelly over something like this to seal it in and prevent some moisture loss. It's always going to be a super cheap alternative. And then two runners up. I love this stuff. It's about empty as well, as well as the dermatology one. I wonder how long I... I just picked this up to talk about it, and I didn't I didn't remember last time I used it that I finished it. But anyway, whatever. This stuff's almost gone, too, and I, ugh, I screwed up. It, yes Style had it on sale for like $10, and I forgot to pull the trigger, so now it's back to $30. But I love it. It's nearly empty. The Vegan Yam Root Cream. It's wonderful. And then, uh, last but not least, the Astera Addo Barrier Cream. This stuff is super thick. I know I've been talking about this one a lot lately, too. But it just does a wonderful job uh, soothing skin. I use it a lot of times with my retinoids, and it really does a nice job uh, preventing uh, get from skin from getting overly dry. And I kind of sandwich it in between this or the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream or whatever cream. So it's lovely and wonderful. So worth checking out. So anyway, neck issues, anti-aging, dryness. Can't go wrong with any of these. So uh, check them all out. Uh, Links are below. If there's anything that you love for your neck that I didn't mention, leave a comment. Again, you don't need a specific neck cream. If you find one you love and it's a neck cream, label a neck cream, nothing wrong with that. Just same thing with eyes. You don't necessarily always need a separate eye product. Sometimes certain neck creams will be marketed that way because they're more hydrating than something you typically use on your face. But again, it, do whatever works. It doesn't really matter what the label says. If it works for that and works for this, it's good to go. So anyway... Uh, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye guys.